Hi, welcome. I'm Haley, your teacher. Let's begin with this photo. She is a girl. It is a cat. She has a cat. It has a collar. Notice the forms of the verb to have. I have, you have, he has, she has, it has, we have, you have, they have. With the verb to have, the important thing to remember is that he, she, or it has a different sound. We hear the s sound at the end of has. He has, she has, it has. Let's look at some examples. I have a brother. He has a sister. You have a baby. Mary has a pen. She has a cold. She has the flu. Blake has a dog. They have a cake. They have ice cream. He has a toy. I have a candle. Now you try. Fill in the blanks with have or has. Pay attention to the subject. We can also express the same idea as to have by using a possessive determiner. It is sometimes called a possessive adjective. Listen to these examples. I have a book. It is my book. My book is green. My hair is long. These are my glasses. Her face is beautiful. His friends are funny. Their work is difficult. In these examples, we can see that the possessive determiner is chosen based on who the subject is of a sentence with to have. We can combine these two sentences using a possessive determiner. They have work. The work is difficult. Their work is difficult. Got it? Notice that when we have a possessive determiner like my, your, his, her, its, our, your, or their, we do not need to use a, an, or the. You can also see in these examples, the possessive determiner comes before the noun. Let's review all of those possessive determiners again. I, my, you, your, he, his, she, her, it, its, we, our, you, all, your, they, their. Now you try it. Choose the correct possessive determiner. Could we make some sentences using both a possessive determiner and the verb to have? Yes, absolutely. Here's an example. Her child has a toy. Their dog has a bone. My bed has a pillow on it. You can try it. Choose the possessive determiner and the correct form has or have. Remember, if the subject is third person singular, he, she, or it, use has. If it's any other subject, use have.
Great job! Now you know two of the most common English verbs, to be and to have. Next time, we will learn another very important verb, to do. So remember to click subscribe to keep learning English with me. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!